just off Lake Michigan, Soldier Field, here in Chicago, Illinois, the site for this afternoon's matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Chicago Bears. Back in your days when you had to take on a team from the AFC, didn't know them all that well. What was it like as we have this little interconference matchup today? Well, I thought back in those days, Jim, we were about ready to show them what toughness and hard hitting was. Uh, today it's a little different, but I'll tell you this, this NFC team, they are a hard hitting bunch. Robbie Gold ready to kick it. First and ten. Makes the grab. Give that last hit to D.J. Williams. You can't play zone coverage against this quarterback. He knows it's zone, and he's going to find the open throwing lane, and he gets it done. Coming up, second down. That's a conversion, the first of the day. Give him a new set of downs. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain Ohio, tomorrow. But the Ohio. good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little... Um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Now, they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, you work all week long on a game plan if you're the offensive coordinator, and you come right out and it works. Yeah, it gives you a lot of confidence, does it? It makes the offensive players, they feel good about what's going on, and it gives confidence to that play caller. That's just as important. What a way to start the game on offense, picking up another first down for them. They are in rhythm. And now, no matter what they call, they're going to feel like they're going to make it happen. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Bengals team official. A.J. Green's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. They're going back up top. He has the grab, and he's brought to the ground. Well, this early in the game, to watch the opposing offense march down the field and get inside the 20. This keeps the defense, uh, they might be shaking a little, but if they stop them here to a field goal try or worse, that'll get their confidence back. Touchdown, Cincinnati Bengals. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. The Bears are ready to return the kick. Hester's got a chance to return this one. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Marshalls, a receiver in the slot. Able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. Well, the only thing I can say about that play, it was better than an incompletion. The quarterback gets the completion, and he pick up a yard or two. It's now second down. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. And here he goes. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this 
this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. Extra point is good. Bears ready to kick the football. Tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22 yard line. <laughs> Offense lines up here. First and 10. He'll fire it out to the left. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Not a good job that time by the quarterback. When you see the cover two defense, you got to know where to throw the football. He did not, and that's why the ball goes incomplete. Ohio! Ohio! The Bears' defense now is going to go nickel. Second down and 10. Looks to his left. Gains 16. When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. Screen play is on. Secures it with two hands. Good job by the quarterback that time. He doesn't panic. He reads that it's a zone, and you have to wait for the receivers to get in between your defenders. Nice throw and catch. Second and six. Ball is caught. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Ohio! Ohio! The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Escaping the pressure. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Flex round! Flex round! Failing to complete that one. So second down here. Goes deep to A.J. Green. That ball is picked off. In on the stop. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Forte's lined up as the single back. First and 10, looking for a receiver on the left side here. Gaines, 19. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. Marshall's in the slot. Cutler is gonna throw once again on this down. The Bears now move the chains. What a nice quarter route run by the wide receiver. He fakes the defensive back out and look at the quarterback. He knows that little move. When he stuck it, he led him out to the corner. Nice throw, nice catch. First down here after the completion. The handoff to Matt Forte. Taking off. Matt Forte is just one of those running backs who can just make it look easy, like he's not putting all of his effort into it. That time, a good job avoiding tackles and picking up big yards. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. First and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And the tackle is made by James Harrison. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. And here we have second down. Trying to work that left side. Marshall makes the catch. Plenty of zip on that throw. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. 
the Bears still driving as the second quarter gets underway. They've got a first down now after that catch. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. He gets into the end zone, capping off the long run. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. The Bears with the PAT to come. Makes the PAT. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. up in the slot first and ten with two hands he has it the quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage he just waited for the defense to get out of position and he threw it to the open hole throws to the right makes the grab to the 25 I know you won't believe this but sometimes completing a short pass like that does give a quarterback confidence so it does serve a purpose Offense needs two yards here on third down after that pass play. And he's going to be tackled right around the 35-yard line. Well, it's about deceiving the defense, isn't it? That's how you get a lot done in the NFL. And when you can run and pass, you can deceive them in a lot of ways. Nice job by the offense running that football, picking up another first down and moving the chains. Goes deep to A.J. Green. The catch is made at the secondary. There's just so few quarterbacks who know how to throw it high and far anymore. Nice job that time by the quarterback. That throw was right on the money. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Johnson's got it in the gun. Goes deep to A.J. Green. Nickel formation here for the defense. Second and ten. Working that left side. And here's the pass incomplete. Ah, the defense got away with one that time. It wasn't a good play in their part. It was just bad timing by the quarterback and receiver. Ohio! Ohio! Nickel formation for the defense here. It'll be a third and ten. When receivers are running drag routes across the field, you got to have nice touch and accuracy on the football. That time, the quarterback just throws it too far in front. Ohio! Ohio! Double tight end formation. No one's going to get him now. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Hard to tell exactly what the injury is, Jim, but I can just tell it's a lower part of the body. And, uh, you know, uh, that was a tough hit. And I just, I hope he's able to come back in the game later today. First down here. Handoff up the middle, and that'll be a gain of about two. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice changeup. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool them with the run, but it only gets a short gain. Watch the blitz, watch the blitz. 
Second down. Here's the quick toss. In the promised land. Touchdown. Never be satisfied in the NFL. Players are just too good. So when you get a chance to score, even though you're leading, take advantage of it. Awesome job by the coordinator on those play calls. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Bears official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. Robbie Gold ready to kick it. Across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Ohio! Ohio! The Bears defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Brought down right at the 50. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. First down here after the run. Going for the home run. On target. Touchdown and drawing close. What a tremendous throw by the quarterback that time for the touchdown. What confidence he has in that arm. Small window, very little room to throw that football in there. He didn't worry about it, fired it, got the touchdown. The Bengals now will tack on the extra point. No, it's not. It's a fake. Looking for an open receiver on the right. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but still they fail to get the two. Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It was a terrible decision. Now we'll find out that one point comes back to Harlem. Hayes lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. And complete. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Mark Tressman was an interesting pick by the Bears in the offseason, coming over from the Canadian Football League. An unconventional hire, but you've known this coach for a long time, and you think this could be a very good choice for the Bears. Well, I have followed his career for a long time, Jim. Very successful offensive coordinator in the NFL. Wanted to be a head coach, so he goes to the CFL, the Canadian Football League. What does he do up there? He, won, he wins two great cups with the Montreal Alouettes. Now, it's an interesting hire for the Chicago Bears. Who's the star of their football team right now? It's Jay Cutler, so why not hire a quarterback coach to make him really become a star? I think it was a great hire by the Chicago Bears. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Play clock's running down. And we've reached the two-minute warning. set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground back to the ground now on first down Second down now. 
takes the stab from the shotgun. Caught, and a gain of four. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. Offense will need three yards here on third down after the completion. Jay Cutler from the shotgun. He'll fire it out to the left. As good as it gets. Touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. It's good. Bears ready to kick the football. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Ohio. The defense comes out in the nickel. Will go ground. We cannot let offensive players get up the sideline in the NFL. That's where a lot of big plays are made. The defensive end that time, well, he was on the end, and he stopped that run for very little gain. That ball was going the other way. Nice tackle. Anytime you're backed up on the offensive side, the quarterback's got to be extremely careful because if you turn it over, you're just giving points to your opponent. That time, a bad decision by the quarterback, and he throws it easy interception for the defense Bennett's lined up now as a slot receiver the throw to the left reaches out and snatches it good job by the receiver that time getting that extra couple yards gets a first down they are marching let's see how the defense reacts That reception gave them the first down. They hand it off to the running back. Chicago in for the score. Well, just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. up now for the point after the point after is good the Bengals are ready to return the kick Just past the 20, we'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Ohio! 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 Now in first down. Running a little college-like option. He stacked up at that point. The Bengals are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Ohio! 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 This will probably be the last play of the first half. First down and ten. Makes the catch. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Ohio! 
almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. Gresham's in the slot receiver role for this upcoming snap. A second and three. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. That does it here for the first half. Bengals trail in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Bears are leading by 22. Let's quickly go to Danielle Bellini. She has an update. I caught up with Coach Tressman during halftime. Jim, with the lead here at the half, he was feeling good about how things have gone to this point. He said, I think we're doing a good job repeating what we did in practice. We've come out and we're confident in what we're doing, and it shows on the scoreboard. Now they've just got to do it for another half, guys. Back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. First down all the way. Second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. After running it, it's second down. Eyeing that left side. Reaches out and grabs it. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Quarterback flips it to the running back. That little wiggle just left the defender standing there. When you see long runs like that by a running back, a lot of things have to happen. Of course, he has good vision, and he has talent. But how about those blocks down the field, those blocks in the secondary? That's what creates long runs. This play set up by the long gainer. Looking to the right side and throwing. It's intercepted! I, well, I have to say, that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know. When you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. Ohio, Ohio. Tate's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten, throwing now to his left. And it's D.J. Williams who makes the tackle. Crossing routes, that's what you want to throw when you see this type of coverage. Four deep, cover four, look for guys going across the field. Hard for the defense to cover those throws. Taken down. The offensive coordinator just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback, so either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. He'll fire it out to the left. Easy catch there. No one near him. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. Well, when you get a couple first downs on a drive, it just, of course, it makes you feel good about what you're doing. It loosens up the offensive play caller, and there's nothing like dictating to the defense. I love it. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. It's a second and five here. And no one is going to catch this one as it goes out of bounds. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The tackle is made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield, punt the football. Dropping back three. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and... Go to the sideline, that's where you deserve to be. It's first down as they head to the line. Matt Forte. 
they've got them behind the line of scrimmage. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Bennett's a receiver in the slot. The play clock's running down. Cutler steps back into the gun. Bennett's got the cool hands on a pass that had a lot of heat. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Here's the first snap after the big play. Matt Forte gets it here. They break through, tackle them behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Forte's shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. Cutler gets it to Matt Forte. Gains 11. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets the completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room. So you got to really drive the football in there. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Second down here. Cutler is going to take it from the gun. Looks to his left. Should have had it. Well, he dropped the football, and there's no doubt why he dropped it. You have to look it in. Third and goal from the eight. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, defenses love it when they get you inside the five-yard line because it's hard to deceive them. So they can just go after the offense and be aggressive. A short field goal try on the way. 15 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. Welcome back and batten down the hatches. This has been a one-sided occasion. Should be what we call a gimme. And the kick is good. You got to take advantage of good field position. The offense doesn't do it that time. I know they get three points out of it. Nice kick. But still, a letdown for the offense. He's a dangerous returner, and he'll have a chance to show you right here. The defense comes out of the nickel. First and ten. Sticks to his hands. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody know. Second down and seven. And intercepted! Good piece of action. Most NFL linebackers were borderline good enough to be a running back. 
and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. Offense lines up here. Now first and ten. The handoff to Matt Forte. They've got him down there. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You've got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. That leads us to second down. They hand it off to him again. They deck him in the backfield. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Offense lines up here. Matt Forte going to lose yards here. Well, that time, the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. Flag is out. The kick is good. Decent. Decent. Will decline the penalty and let the play stand. Robbie Gold ready to kick it. it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Green Ellis is in the backfield. First and 10. This is a screenplay all the way. He's brought down. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all in one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. First down here after the completion. That's an interception. The tackle was made. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. First and ten. Matt Forte gets it here. Shrugs off the first hit. Good job on the ground there by Matt Forte. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Flip to the outside. Touchdown. They're just running it up. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. Bears ready to kick the football. Out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Ohio, Ohio. Takes Ohio, in the slot. Ohio. Here, we go. We're in the We're in the Here comes the wide receiver in motion. First and ten. Right where it had to be. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, the quarterback had time and throws him down the field for another completion. Throws to the right. And 
and that ball's nearly picked off, but he dropped it. This drives coaches crazy. They get a wide receiver open down the field on a post route, and what happens? The quarterback just overthrows it. Second down following that incompletion. And they sack the quarterback. Oh, there's nothing worse as a quarterback to have pressure up the middle from an interior defensive tackle. Uh, hard to see down the field, can't make a decision. And that time, it leads to a sack. And almost picked off. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. Tate's lined up in the slot. Got the grab, and he's got the first. That's what you got to do as a receiver in the NFL now. You, how about this play? He goes up high, makes the catch, takes the big hit, and holds on. They've got a first down now after that catch. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. The pass complete. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it but it looks like it could be a major injury, and I just, well, I hope the best. First down, throwing again. Catch is made. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. That brings the play to an end. Well, it's been a terrible day for this football team. There's no doubt about it. You're down near the goal line, but you are getting blown out. Well, if he can score a touchdown, at least there'll be one good And he's in for the touchdown. I would bet first and goal that the offense, about 90% of the time, is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it, and they get it done. That is power football at its best. Lining up now for the two. Gets away from the pressure. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. Big goals ready for action. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. Gets out past the 30, brought down near the 35. They've come out in the dime package. First and ten. Weak eye formation. And they're going to run. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want out of this. They don't want out of this. This will be second down. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Inhales the pass. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. That reception gave them the first down. The defense gets a sack. This defense is awesome in blitzing. That time they blitz, they get the sack on the quarterback. They time the snap count perfectly and catch the offense by surprise. Well, they got to the quarterback on first down. Sets up second and long. 
Unstoppable. The 40. The 30. Gets past the first wave. The 10. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. That may have been the clincher right there. Yeah, what a game all day long. So exciting to end it like this late in the game. Man, you enjoy victories like this. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. Lines up here. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Tackles made. The Bengal signal for the timeout, and they have none remaining. Green Ellis is a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Oh, the safety has so much talent. He's got the speed. He's got smarts. Got in great position and just swatted that football away. That's second down coming up. Ohio, 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 Ohio. Trying to work that left side. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter to throw.